Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to find the dates between DAX function using another DAX, two DAX functions that are start of month and end of month. So dates between, it returns a table that contains a column of date that begins with a specified start date and continues until a specified end date is mentioned. So if you use date between, you need to give a start date and an end date. Suppose you need a calculation of a certain month, you need to give start of a month and the end of a month. So for that, we have another two functions called start of month and you have another end of month. So start of month returns the first date of the month and the end of month returns the last date. It's almost like closing date. So you can use these two functions inside the date between dates function. You can get the value or any calculation of a particular month. So we will see an example of it. We have a data set and in that we have calendar table and we are having the sales details table. So what we need is we need to get the quantity of sales that has happened in one single month in the selected month. We will select a table for visualization. And here in the table, we are giving the date hierarchy where the quarter is not there. In this table, we are selecting the quantity also. Now we will be selecting the slicer and in the slicer, we will select the date and it can be the date hierarchy. And in the date hierarchy also, you can unselect the quarter and day. We need the month only. So we are giving the year and the month and we can change it to listing. For checking the results, we can just select a month here, August. And here in the total, we will be able to see this 6,386 quantities they have sold in August. So we need to get this value in the dates between function using first day of month and last day of month. We need to get this value using start of month, end of month in, inside the dates between function. So the first measure to be created will be the start of month. That is just to show up how much amount we are getting, how the start of month is working. We can select a new measure called start of month. We can give the value as start of month of sales equals to calculate, sorry, calculate. We need to use it inside calculate function. Calculate, we need to get the sum of quantity. And then we are going to give the start of month and you can give the calendar date. That will show you the start of month and the value. Now it is going to show you the sum of the quantity of the start of month. That is the first day of the month. How much is the quantity? So if you are selecting the August month, you are going to get 186. So we will check how it is. You can select a card. And now you can select the measure inside the card. Start of month. Now it is showing 179. That is the first result that is shown in the table. Now we will check the August month of 2019 and august the first day they got 186 and that is shown here 186 if we use the september month that is 201 and then we have the, we got 200 now we need to get the end of month end of month means you're selecting this january 2019 you are going to get 174 because january 31st it is 174 so we'll write a measure for that so you can name it as end of month sales equals to quantity equals to calculate sum of quantity and now you need to give the filter that is end of month and you can give the calendar date now we can select another card and in this card we can select the end of month so this end of month will be the entire, they will, it will take the entire table and it will take the last value of the month. So it will be the last day of the month. I think the June, month of June will be the last month. So you can select June and of course, yeah, till June 5, the data is there. So June 5, it is getting 102. So that has been shown here. But like in the early example, we can select August 2019 and we will get 181. And here, if you check August 31st, it is 181.
So like that, you can get the start of month and end of month, whatever calculation is there on the start of month or end of month, you will be able to get it through the start of month and end of month filter functions. Now we are going to use some measure to get the dates between the start of month and end of month. You can create a measure for dates between. So you can name it as dates between quantity equals calculate. You can get the sum of quantity and you can use the dates between as a filter function here. Dates between and first you need to give the calendar. So you can have given the calendar date. Now the start date. The start date should, should be the start of the month. That is the first day of the month. So for that you can use this start of month method itself start of month that this method it use and it give the calendar date and now the end date end date should be the end of month so end of month and you can give the same calendar date so that completes the measure for this and we will see how much it will cost so actually, if you are selecting 2019 August, the sum of quantity should be 6,386. We need to check whether we are getting that exact answer. So we will select the card for date between, and we will select the measure and dates between for quantity. And here, since it is taking the entire table, it is showing 90K. We will select the exact month for that. We can select 2019 August. So 2019 August it is showing 6386. That is the exact amount we are getting the total for the month of August in the table. So this is how we can get the dates between the two. Using the start of month and end of month function, we can get the number of sales happened in a particular month or a particular year. All these kind of things you can use this function dates between and you can use the start of month and you can use the end of month also. Or you can even hard code the values for start of month and you can hard code the values for end of month also. But as a good programming, just so you can give the start of month and end of month. So hope this will give insight to your Power BI DAX. Thank you. Have a nice day.